This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to be dealing with uh, cloudy skies to start the evening. Can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm around. Otherwise, temps slowly slip down into the 60s. The heat is still on for a couple of more days. The storm chances increase daily. Better chances by the end of the weekend into early next week, and temps start to cool off a bit next week as well. Not yet. 99 yesterday after a morning low of 59 degrees. Nothing in the rain gauge yesterday. We're still at an inch 63 for the month, about two-tenths above normal. Still right at about six inches above normal for the year. We've had uh, several uh, hot days, four in a row in the upper 90s uh, after a few cooler days last week. And as you could see, uh, thunderstorm chances have been on the decrease the last couple of days here, at least in terms of producing some moisture. That's not the case, though. As you could see, starting Friday, that's tomorrow, we start to see uh, some isolated thunderstorm activity. Better chances as we go uh, into Saturday, Sunday, Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, chances go up as well. As far as breezes go, could be a little breezy Saturday, Sunday. Otherwise, uh, temps are going to stay or breezes going to stay pretty calm out there uh, and not too bad. Severe weather threat tonight is marginal here across western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming. Areas to the north of us, marginal risk tomorrow. Better marginal risk of severe thunderstorms on Saturday. And as we take a look at excessive rainfall, that's going to stay away from us until we get into Saturday. We're going to start to see better moisture in here uh, into early next week as thunderstorm chances are going to be on the increase. Still toasty out there, 114 in Phoenix, 100 in Dallas. We've got some low 100s in our neck of the woods as well. McCook at 100, 101 in Concordia. Upper 90s to near 100, a lot of places. Ogallala at the 100-degree mark right now. As far as winds go, they're 5 to 15, gusting at times along those gusty showers and thunderstorms. They're going to push across the region here this evening, and then they will die out like they did last night, and we'll clear out overnight and start tomorrow with another sunny day out there. Big part of the day sunny till we get late in the day. Then here comes another round of isolated thunderstorms. Those move out tomorrow night again, and then we're left Saturday with a repeat of some pretty good activity here Saturday morning uh, in the north, and as you see, and then clear skies until late in the afternoon, and we bring in another chance of some showers and thunderstorms and just kind of repeat the process here over the next several days. Lows tonight, 50s and 60s. Highs tomorrow, 90s. A few areas near 100. As far as precip goes, it's going to depend on if you get under some of those heavier showers and storms. Otherwise, uh, most areas are going to get maybe a couple of tents. As we take a look at our forecast tonight, cloudy early, partial clearing, a stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Tomorrow will be in the upper 90s with, again, a late-day shower or storm not out of the question, and uh, no, not much changes go on. Saturday all the way through Thursday of next week, increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms, temperatures that stay in the 90s through the weekend, then look at by Thursday of next week, maybe down into the low 80s.